I was sitting in my chair this morning trying to figure out where I was going to go. I got two days. Tomorrow, though, the wind is supposed to blow really hard. I was going to go up high on the mountain and get my tent. I still got a tent way out there in the middle of nowhere. But I don't want to be way up there on that ridge trying to pack that tent up. The wind's supposed to blow 25, 30 miles an hour tomorrow. That wouldn't be fun at all. So I was looking, and, and it wasn't that long ago. I was right over here in Massacre Canyon, and I rode through there. And I got to kind of researching the area. Fort Cummings is right over there, and that's where the soldiers were. Anyway, I got to looking, and now I've gotten into this kick of petroglyphs. And uh, they're supposed to be like the best petroglyphs around anywhere, at least in the state of New Mexico. Right here, I wasn't no more than probably five or six miles from them the other day. So, thought, what the heck, the wind's supposed to be down today about 15 miles an hour, which isn't too bad. It's going to be up about 65 degrees, which is just about right. So I loaded up the hounds. And, oh, fat Lori. Come here. Oh, gee. You're getting too fat. Brought old beautiful Brenda and... uh Saddled her up, and I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna go right up through this pass. There's a there's a there's a like a four wheel drive trail, and then I'm gonna go through that pass and circle around, and then I gotta look for the for the petroglyphs. Also, they said that that that's an encampment. There's supposed to be some dwellings and stuff up there too, but there's an encampment where where the Apaches used to stay. Also, they believe that it went all the way back to to the Aztec. Okay. Stop the show. I I screwed up. I thought that the place that has the Apache encampment or what they thought was an Aztec camp or something like that was at this location. Ends up after more, further investigation, it's on the other side of the canyon, but not very far from here. So I, I will head over there and I will share that with you. But since I decided I better stop this and show you something i use onyx maps and onyx maps sponsors me but i figured i would record this see if i can do this i'm not real techie but see if i can do this and show you guys how i use onyx maps what i do is i get on my on my i i have the app downloaded on my uh my iphone or my my smartphone and uh but I get on my desktop, and you go to, let me show you. Okay, so you go to whatever browser you use. Uh, I use Google Chrome. Go to Onyx Maps on, on your browser. Open Map, Hunt Map. Do, do, do. There we go. And you can see... You can see all my waypoints. Now, you can see here, I planned on, this is all the Butterfield Trail. I've marked it all out on, on, the, on the Onyx maps so I can create a route. So where I wanted to go was over here to the Pony Hills. So I just go up here in the left-hand side and say Pony Hills. Bingo, it says Pony Hills near Deming, New Mexico. That's where I wanted to go. So it takes me right right there to it. Now that's zoomed in a little tight for this. So we'll back out so everybody can see it. I hope they can see it. Anyway, I know I'd be coming down uh, Highway 26. So I see the road that I want to take that's going to lead me to it. And I go right up here on the right-hand side under Tools, Build route. I want it to be black. I'm going to say Pony Hills, Pony Hill. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to rename it. Name this route Pony Hills. And then I will start the route right here. Boom. And it'll snap to that road. Take it all the way up here to where I want to hit that little trail. Now, there's supposed to be a trail right there. And then I'll push escape. That'll finish it. Tells me what kind of elevation gain we got. 
it'll tell me how far, 5.6 miles. And then I can also look and kind of see where the petroglyphs are. And if I want to do anything with that, oh, I want to keep this route. I push save and it saves it right there. And so when a, this will show up on my, on my, uh, my iPhone or my smartphone on, on the Onyx Maps app. It'll, it'll show up so I can pull it up and I can see exactly where I need to turn and then where I need to go. <clears throat> then I can also, if I want to, I can say, boom, I want to make a waypoint. Uh, whoop, no, 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 no. I want to add a waypoint where I think those petroglyphs are. So I just go up there and I push boom. Add waypoint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this petroglyphs. Petro G L Y P H S. I'm not a very good speller. That's probably not right. And I can save it. And then that way, when I get on my iPhone or my smartphone, I can pull up that waypoint and I can say go to. And uh, it'll it'll give me a now a line a uh, straight line to it, but I can follow these little trails all the way around. So if you guys, I had this idea. Let me get out. Let me back out of this right now. So I had this idea. If you guys get the if if like I said, Onyx Maps sponsors me. If you use the code one hundred years and you get on Onyx Maps, if you join my membership on the on the uh uh youtube here or if you go over to my patreon and you get on my patreon there'll be links in the description down below it costs you like a dollar a month to join those and i think one to five dollars and what i'll do is prior to a video coming out or maybe after right when the video comes out i will share the the route or the waypoint on on the membership or on the Patreon. I had a comment on one of my videos. A guy said, why don't you share a map so we can kind of put things in perspective? And I thought, well, that's probably a good idea, but I'd, I'd rather just share it with the guys who really want to see in that, you know, our members or whatever. So, you know, it's not out for any Yahoo anywhere that might cause problems or go to deface some of these things or something like that. But anyway, I think it'd be really cool. Then you guys, when you watch the video, you could open up your Onyx maps and, and pull it up and hit that waypoint and look and say, oh, look, that's where he's at. And he's this far from, you know, whatever Deming or Las Cruces or, or Acapulco or wherever I am. So anyway, thanks. It's an idea. If you feel like doing it, doing it. And remember, when you, when you, when you download the Onyx maps, use the code 100 years. And you save 20%, I think it is. And then I get a little kickback from that too. So you help the channel. All right. Thanks. Back to the show. So it's probably about, I don't know, probably take me about an hour and a half ride to get there. But, uh, and there's people up here. There's some people, I think they're miners or treasure hunters or something. There's also a legend of some, some Spanish treasure up in here too. And supposed to, in some of these rocks, there's some, some crosses marked into the rocks that might be from the uh, times when the Spaniards were in here. So anyway, let's see how it goes. Onward and upward. That's a watchword. It's pretty nice country in here, really. Riding down a little two-track road. Could have brought the buggy, I guess, but where's the fun in that? Brenda needed to get out. I've never been in these hills before, so I don't know much about them. And I don't know where those petroglyphs are for sure.
What do you think, Brenda? Is that a big old deep hole from the looks of that? It is a deep hole. Let's stand up here on the edge and take a look down in there. Not over there too far. Holy moly. It's a long ways down there. I think that one's just as big over there. I ain't gonna go look at that one. Oh, Brenda, we're looking for petroglyphs, not mines, not spooky mines. <laughs> Look at all the dirt that they took out of this sucker. And you know it goes down there a long ways. Wonder what they were mining. I will look it up on the intercom or the internet and put it right here. Let you know what they were mining. We'll see. This little two track road keeps on going up through here. I really don't know where the petroglyphs are. I have an idea. I looked at my Honest Ma Onyx maps and I read some things on the internet. But I don't know how exact they were. I kind of got a good idea. It, 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 they're close enough where I think a lot of people probably visit them and they're 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 pretty extensive little uh, mine shafts or, or what we call glory holes where they were just trying to find ore, or trying to find a vein or whatever it is they're looking for oh they're all over these mountains The old wooden culverts to keep the road from washing out. Like it always rains up here. But I bet when it does, that water just runs right off the side of these mountains. No, bunny. Jeez, look at that. Just a big old hole. I'm gonna go right up there and then take a look at all that country back out that way. RV park out here in the middle of nowhere. I seen it on the Google Earth. See it out there? I mean, it's a long old dirt road to get out there, but the Butterfield Trail cuts across right through there and goes out that way. Soon, soon. Hey, I was going to say talking about the Butterfield Trail and and me going to ride it one of these days. I kind of had setback this year because of health and then and then Agnes or uh, dying and you know kind of looking for mules but anyway there's a guy a young man that he, he's not riding mules he's riding mustangs and he's riding across the United States he came out of Utah and uh, he's riding He's riding back east somewhere and then circling around and coming back. His name is Jake. His last name starts with an H. Harf, Harf something. I can't remember right now. But yeah, if you like that sort of thing, he he's, he's, looks like a pretty, pretty good kid, you know. And uh, he's riding across the country. And that's how I, you know, I kind of got fascinated with the long riders, you know, riding over a thousand miles and but well, I don't really have time. I've got too many dogs and stuff to <laughs> to really do that. But I could ride some of these shorter trails, like the Butterfield Trail, just across New Mexico, and then that uh, com we call it the Camino Real, Camino del Norte, something like that. But uh, yeah, that's it. And the Butterfield Trail goes right through there.
Those petroglyphs are in here somewhere. I don't exactly know where, but they're in here somewhere. We'll see. Brenda, I don't quite trust you like I did Agnes, so I'll just keep these reins right here close to me. I don't think you'll run off, but I don't know. And it's a long walk back to the truck. And it'd be terrible me having to chase you all over this mountain trying to catch you. Amen. Breezy up here on top. Oh. Make some of those old man noises. I think those petroglyphs are right off over in there somewhere. I'm gonna ride right down through here and up into those little hills see if I can find them and then circle back around can you imagine what it's like like those Indians could sit up here Native Americans Apaches whatever you want to call them they sit up here and watch those flats down there and they could see something coming for miles and miles away. Set up their ambush. They say there were lots and lots of ambushes set up in this country. I can only imagine. It'd be scary cutting across in, in uh, back in those days. What do you think those dogs are barking at, Brenda? Beautiful Brenda. Probably a dingo fox, huh? Maybe a bobcat. Could be a lion. Ringtail cat? I don't think a ringtail cat. Do you? Kind of strange looking that rock just sitting on top of that other one, but I guess it's natural. Oh, we're gonna get off of here, Brenda. Right down through there. Nothing in there. It's like another fence down here. I crossed one up there on top. Look at that down there. It's all fenced off. But there's a gate. Reckon it's locked? You reckon it's locked? Oh, look at that mine shaft. Ooh. It's pretty cool stuff, boys and girls. Little old road coming up to it. No, it's not locked. Let's go have a look around. And it doesn't say no trespassing. Let's look. Look at that. 
There's a sawhorse in there. Ah, no, that's a big old shaft. Go straight down, look at that. No, 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 Claire, come here. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't like caves or mine shafts. Especially those ones that go straight down like that. Whew. Come on, Clara. That's a pretty cool spot, though. I'm, I'm sure it's got to be private land. Built it right in the side of the mountain here. A little bit of rock, or a whole bunch of rock, and a little bit of adobe. What do you think, Brenda? where grandma used to stay in this little house. Watch out for wire, Brenda. Foxes, foxes. Ringtail cats are foxes. Look like separate rooms. It's an old motel. <laughs> wow, it's pretty cool. Let's keep looking, see if we can find those petroglyphs. I think we're on the right road. Don't knock into me. Well, if you can see it. Pulled it up on Onyx Maps. It shows the trail leading right up through here, so I think I know where it's at. Let's go. Got my old man glasses on. That's them on that little rise right over there. It's a long ways across this old flat. This, I wasn't very far from here the other day when I made that other video of Massacre Canyon. I bet I wasn't three or four miles from here. Because I went up that ridge right over there.
Oh yeah, right there. Check it out. I don't think that's that old. I think somebody else wrote that. I don't know. Looks like a Nazi sign and then a little man with a cross on his head. Watch out. Probably over there, huh? Back off over there. No motor vehicles. Where would they be? Oh, they're around here somewhere. Oh, I think there's some right over there. Yeah, that's all right. Somebody doodled right there. I think they could draw a perfect circle like that. Like a basket. This is pretty good. These are pretty extensive. I'm gonna tie that mule up so I can walk around here and look. Let's see here. Nineteen forty one Morris Wilkes. They're everywhere.
I still say they were on the lookout here. Like a lookout to see who's coming. This is a perfect place. You could look right here and see the whole valley right there. See anybody coming from miles around. And they got bored and they doodled. Gyro. <laughs> There's some modern ones in here too. But that's old. That's old. like something going up to there. There's that little monster, man. Big horn sheep. Look at these. Yeah. That's a little sperm. I'll go right up there and look around. See what I can find. Man, that, those are extensive. That, that's the best set that I've ever seen. There's supposed to be a really cool one up here somewhere. I think maybe they were telling me stories. We'll see. There's some right there. Look like deer. They don't show up very good. I wonder how come so many down there and then right up above here, not very many. Oh, there's one. I 
That's a dinosaur. It's not very old. That's weird. They're all over the place here. That's a rattlesnake right there. Look at the rattles. Look at that. Rattle, rattlesnake. That's the ones I've seen before, right over there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go down through here. There's a water tank or a dirt tank down there. Let these dogs get a drink of water. And then there's some more big rock piles down there. Maybe there's some more. We'll see. Gotta look. Ooh. Sorry, sweetheart.
1931. I think that says 1931. That was a bit, that was a while ago. Be a nice little place to camp. Have you a nice little fire? Have a smoke. Ooh. Trash, somebody left trash. I don't like to see that. That's pretty cool. I like it. That's the best set of petroglyphs that I've found so far. It's a pretty popular place though. There's a lot of people come out here. Old or new? Can't tell, probably new, I don't know. See the Butterfield Trail comes out right through here. It comes out right down up this valley and goes over that way. That was the best set of petroglyphs I found yet. They're pretty well known. The other ones, they're harder to get to and, and not as well known. But these were, uh, I, I read about them on the internet, but they're a little more extensive, a little more, a little more better. Is that proper English? <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. This mule won't hardly drink when I'm out. She's too sophisticated. She wants her drink to be in a trough. All right. It was a good day. Now I got about a five mile ride back to the truck. Really, really kind of boring. Till next time. Commence system shutdown.